Just recently, Terry suffered an injury after tumbling over a hurdle in the school track meet. You know, injuries can be very scary and difficult to recover from, especially if a person's ticks affect the area that's injured. And as luck would have it, that happens a lot. Let's check in on Terry and see what he ends up doing to cope with his injury. Terry was miserable. He tore his ACL in a freak accident at the elementary school track meet, and now he was in the hospital. His parents were frantic when they saw the accident happen and followed the ambulance to the emergency room. After everything settled down, the doctors and nurses finally relocated Terry to his own room. Terry and his parents waited patiently for the doctor to come visit and tell them how bad his injury was. Terry was very anxious and in pain, which made his ticks act up really bad. Every time he ticked, his knee would hurt and make him cry. He wished he could make everything stop so it wouldn't hurt anymore. The doctor came in and explained to everyone that he would have to operate on Terry's knee in order for the damage to heal properly. He told them all that Terry would have to remain still for two months after the operation so he didn't tear anything again. Terry was scared because with his ticks, he knew there was no way he could guarantee that. The doctor told him he would put a brace on his leg to immobilize his knee. He couldn't put any weight on it and needed to lay down as much as possible. Everyone understood the doctor's orders and agreed to do what he said. When the doctor left, Terry asked his mom, how can I keep my legs still when my ticks act up? They seem to make me want to move my hurt leg. Terry did his best not to cry, but the pain and his fear were just too much. His mom could see the tears in his beautiful green eyes. I don't know, but we'll think of something, answered Terry's mom. Just as she finished speaking, a nurse walked into the room to check on Terry's vitals and overheard the conversation. Hi, Terry. I hear you have a bit of a problem with staying still. The nurse was very bright and happy as she moved about the room, checking things and talking. My name is Abigail. I know something that comes in handy for a lot of people. She went to the small closet in the room and pulled out a blanket. This is a weighted blanket. It won't stop everything, but it helps give resistance to people who are fidgety or need to burrow into something. I used it last year when I did the same thing as you, and it helped me stay calm and feel like I was getting a big hug. She draped the blanket over Terry with some help from his mom. As it settled over him, Terry could feel what Nurse Abigail meant. It felt like he was getting a huge hug from both his mom and her at the same time. Thanks! I think this is going to help while I recover. The next day, Terry was wheeled to the operating room, and the doctor fixed his leg up good as new. After Terry was awake again, the doctor came back and told him and his parents that the surgery went well. He gave his instructions and understood Terry's complications with having Tourette's syndrome. He gave some medicine to help ease the pain and hoped that with that, his tics would be eased as well. Luckily for Terry, the doctor's trial worked, and even though they didn't stop completely, they were a lot less frequent. And with the weighted blanket from Nurse Abigail, Terry's injury healed fast and soon became a distant memory. By the end of the school year, Terry was back to playing with his friends like normal. He still had a slight limp, but it would soon go away as he regained his strength. He was more than happy that he would have the whole summer to get back to 100%. After talking to Biff, he was excited to try out for football in the fall. With his size and speed, he was sure to be great at it. Injuries can pose some added problems for people with Tourette's syndrome. As ticks can be suggestible, when something hurts, it's often a huge suggestion to our brain. <sighs> As luck has it, many times our ticks gravitate to the injured area, making it more difficult to keep still and allow for proper healing. Various techniques or items, such as weighted blankets, can help reduce the impact those ticks can have on the injured area. Also, make sure the doctor knows about your T-Rex so they can talk with other doctors about ways to possibly help. It's especially important to notify the doctor if you are already on medication for your T-Rex or other conditions so they can make sure anything they may prescribe doesn't have an adverse reaction uh, if used at the same time. 
Have fun in whatever activity you enjoy and always do it with caution and use whatever safety equipment that might be available. Being injured is no fun and precautions are there for a reason. So fist bump. This is Megalodon saying bye for now. Later, tater.